Hi guys, my name is Theodora Mekunye. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber living in Alberta, Canada. Hey, location dodge. Eh, 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 oh, oh. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you Dripping lights name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, King of glory, just want to lift you high this morning and say, Thou art worthy, O Lord. Good morning, it's day two in Canada. So I have, I know I haven't been back to vlog. We got in on Wednesday. We couldn't unpack. We just um, ordered Chinese. We had, <laughs> we had Chinese to eat and um, everybody was exhausted. We just went to bed. Okay. And I just told Hobby that let's just chill, let's not go anywhere, let's um let's rest. So we took Thursday off to rest. Today is Friday. We're going to Service Canada to get our sin. We want to see if we can open bank accounts and get um maybe some um, Canadian USD because we came in with um um dollars, American dollars. Um, see if we can get some of that because I know we won't get our cards immediately from the bank. Sorry, Eliana is on her thingy. And then um, see if we can also get SIM cards. So I've been, I've been jet lagged for two days now. I keep waking up. I think at the proper time, I used to wake up in Nigeria, maybe six, seven o'clock. That's when I wake up here. And when I wake up here, it's about 4 a.m., 5 a.m. In fact, me and my husband, we're always jamming each other, either in the bathroom or in the kitchen. We wake up at about the same time. Hustle life. Anyway, we're currently trying to see if we can get an Uber or something or maybe even walk to Service Canada because the map is telling us that it's about 13 minutes. Babe, 13 minutes or 15 minutes? About 13 minutes away. So let's see if we can walk, guys. See your favorite too. Eliana, say hi. Say good morning. No, don't take it off. It's beautiful. Don't take it off. Don't take it off. Say good morning. <laughs> Guys, Eliana has not been finding it easy with all these things I've been wearing. Her. I'll wear her thermal wear. I'll wear her t-shirt. I'll wear her sweater. And then I'll just put something on her head. So she's not taking to the meet the caps. I've tried to wear her a couple of caps. She keeps yanking them off. I'm trying to protect her edges. You know, because I noticed that even after I oil it, by the time she moves around a little bit, everywhere is dry and crusty. 
So I decided I got this stuff from Ebano. I don't know if you guys saw when I bought them, but I think I recorded in my video. I got these bands from Ebano. So I just figured let me just use that for her. Okay. Yeah. So we're headed out, guys. Yes. I can see. So we're headed out, guys. I'll keep you up to date when we um pass through. And yes, of course, I have to do a proper tour of our Airbnb. We're staying in an Airbnb, a two-bedroom Airbnb. Guys, I don't even know the address for this place. I'll ask my husband. But I will definitely do a tour for you guys. Yes, there's water in here for you, baby. Sorry. Yeah, we're going out, you know. Mama, do you want like what you're watching? Why not watch something that is that is for a child? Okay. Hmm? okay. Why not watch Team Titans? You okay. wanna watch Team Titans? Yes, um, What's that? Face mask. No. I have. Okay, just put it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so everywhere is a mess. Look we woke up really early this morning and we just tired trying to tidy it, trying to make breakfast for the kids and all that and then Nobody really gave a care about tidying anything. I'll do most of all the stuff when I get back, when we, when we get back. And I don't even know what time we're getting back, but I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys when I get back, all right? So I'm actually trying to, we're actually here, there's a queue trying to get our SIM number, social security number, the, the, the line is quite decent, I actually expected a longer queue, but it's actually not that long, um, we need our social security number to be able to open a bank account. So it's okay. We'll just wait until we can get something. See my people. <laughs> okay guys, I'll catch up with you after we're done here. Hi. Your girl is just giving you outfit of the day. This was what I wore to Service Canada. Guys, we're just dressing here to survive. Oh, fashion, no day for this one. The cold there. Eh? The cold, I did, I, it shocked me. My people, it's not only in Nigeria that Uber drivers have score score you. Here, there are plenty. I have had some experiences. But anyway, we had to go to a different bank from the one that we had originally planned to go to. But it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because we were able to get a much higher um, maximum amount for our credit card than we had expected. We got our debit cards and they accepted our Airbnb address as proof enough for a bank account opening, which was great. From the bank, we went to look for somewhere to get some food. Everyone was so hungry. We were able to spot a Nando's restaurant nearby. And then from the restaurant, we took a cab to the Sunridge Mall, which wasn't too far away because we wanted to get SIM cards and get a phone contract line or something. 
and then we also wanted to do some shopping and we could see that they had a dsw in the sunridge mall we're looking for warm things like socks and maybe some shoes for the kids if we could find some um, warm jackets we were planning to get as many as we could find i personally didn't have any jackets none of us did the only person who had jackets available was my husband the kids didn't have any and eliana needed some shoes i needed some warm socks i also needed a jacket we ended up not being able to get a jacket at this mall but we were able to get shoes and socks and then we um we left for grocery shopping we decided to go to walmart done with DSW I didn't buy anything for myself and in fact the only person that we shopped for in this store was Eliana because she happens to not have clothes and shoes <laughs> so <laughs> Bobby just saw me whip up my camera now and he's just laughing at me so we got stuff for Eliana and then the kids are eating I'm yeah, not sure I want to eat this they are seeing a big I want to eat a bonus soup. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. But I want to eat a bonus soup and powdered yam. I beg. Which one is all this thing that they eat? I don't want. Anyway, hope he's going to go check to see if he can get anything, something else. I'm just sitting here. Just sitting here and chilling guys from tomorrow or from monday we start house hunting fingers crossed because you know it's you settling in is not easy we've only just gotten like settled some kind of way with our social security a bank account and um a sim so because you don't if you don't have a sim how are you going to contact landlords for the house Sometimes you send them messages and they don't respond via email. So the best thing to do is to actually call them to see if the house is available. And if you don't call with a Nigerian with a Canadian number, sometimes some of them will not answer. Well, the thing no easy, but um, God did. So hubby will start doing some house hunting on Monday, and I get to stay with the kids. We can't even choose a house, a school for them until until we get a house because the house actually. You want to clean your hand? Having a house determines. Having a house. Sorry, guys. Eliana needs me. Having a house determines the kind of the school your kids go to. So you have to get Eliana. Hold on, okay? You have to get a house. And then when you have a house, then you can now talk about school. Take, take, Eliana, take, take this, Eliana. So, I have exams to write, so 
I have to finish my registration, which I'm almost there. And then I have to start getting ready to study for my exams, basically. Okay, guys, I don't know where else we'll be going to from here, but I'll, I'll update you guys, okay? All right, see you guys later. Bye. so I didn't come back yesterday after we got back from the mall because I was so tired like we all passed out I just managed to feed the kids tidy up put some things away and we hit the sack I think I slept at about 11 p.m. I was tired so um, this morning I've, I'm kind of stumped about what to cook. You guys heard me talk about, <clears throat> you guys heard me talk about um, wanting to eat obono soup and all that. Guys, I've, I'm, I feel like eating like Niger food, you know, but right now I'm not very sure of the ingredients that I, I have, if I have everything that I need for, um, for obono soup. I think I do, I'm not very sure. But um, this morning, I want to make spaghetti for the kids, for the house in general. So I have some things here. Let me just show you guys what I have, okay? Okay, so I want to make um, spaghetti. I think I have everything I need for that. Guys, don't mind me. I'm going to do an Airbnb tour for you guys. Um, bring away the stuff I use for my cough by morning. Eliana is here. She's <sighs> she's watching something on a tab. Let me show you guys, Eliana. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so Elena is having. Well, guys, Elena is having her breakfast, and she's also watching 
cartoon stuff. So I want to show you the things we bought at DSW yesterday. We couldn't get winter jackets at Walmart, even at the Sunridge Mall. But we didn't enter any stores at the Sunridge Hub. To be to be to be fair, we didn't enter any stores looking for jackets. Okay. I am still going to make one or two findings to know where exactly we need to get jackets from. I'm not very sure. I think um, I might need to ask one or two people. So this is what we got from DSF, DSW. Not everything here is from DSW. Just some things. I wanted some warm stuff. You can go, go, go. So Jane has been helping me clean up the room. Oh yeah, go, go, go ahead, go, go ahead. So, we got this for Eliana yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw her trying it on. We got this. Thankfully, we were able to find her size because we couldn't even find the next, the next size after this. We were looking for the next size after this, but we couldn't find it. So, this is what we got for her. It's very warm. Very warm. I'm sure by the time she starts school, this will come in really handy. Jaina already has one, so I didn't get for her. This is, this is so cute. Like, so cute. And then, now she has needed all of this for a while, but I, would, I didn't want to buy from Nigeria because we're coming here and that would just mean more loot. For me to carry so i said let's just leave it when we can come here we'll get some got this for her everyday trainers okay yeah i'm still planning on getting her one more one more sneakers and then that's it then mama you have to eat up your food quickly so that it doesn't get soggy okay What's that smell? What smell? So this is socks that we got. <laughs> Guys, this is the original Giorgio. Not all those ones we buy in Lagos, in the Balogu market, that the right Giorgio on top. That, that thing is not Giorgio. Hey, <laughs> God. This is the real George. So these are just warm socks. I love them. Like, I love the texture. It's amazing. It's so soft. So soft and nice, guys. So I don't know. There was this store I entered yesterday called Cozy. Just Cozy. I know that I've seen some people talk about that store on Instagram that they sell really comfortable leggings and um, shawls and all. Now, my eye just went to that store. I, I, I saw their stuff and I was like, I wanted some. I wanted the shawls. I kept touching them. They were so soft and nice. Guys, I don't know how I walked out of that store without buying anything. Like, I think I was just being an Ijebu. By the time we went around to other shops, I couldn't find anything to match what I saw in Just Cause. Now I have to go back to that Sunridge Mall to go get um, that. So this is, this is the socks that we got. Just normal socks, but this is for me and this is for Jaina. Okay. Just warm stuff. The weather is not so chilly. The weather is actually fine. It's spring. Um, Nathan, could you reduce the volume? The weather is not so chilly. The weather is actually fine, you know, but every now and then it switches. Like, guys, if you see how the weather is switch, this minute is sunny and hot. The next minute is chilly. But not cold like you know like chili if you've ever been to dubai in december you know that kind of chili yeah that kind of chili but so you will just have to make sure that you are layered up so that you can then guys dry skin is a thing here like you have to keep moisturizing your face your body everywhere oils and oils and moisture if not your skin eh hmm. So far, so good. I've been really doing a good job for my kids because when we came, I bought this oil, some kind of oil, and then when we came here, I didn't carry any creams. I don't know why I did that, but I think I was scared for my luggage allowance, so I just put in, I took it, I put it in and I took it out, and I was like, when I come here, I'll just get something. So yesterday, I was able to get this one. 
We use Nivea normally, okay? Let me show you the type I got. I haven't seen this one before. I think this one is their own brand here or their own kind of Nivea here, but I got this one and um, I'm going to try it out. So I'm just going to mix it with oils. Like I told you, I bought a lot of oils. I'm just going to keep mixing with oils. Those oils, I actually got them that, ah, winter, we'll use them, not in spring. I didn't think I'll be using those oils now. I thought, oh, I'll just buy them. Then when it's winter and the winter season, then we can now use them again. But hmm, we've already started using the oils, so, so I have to get ready to, I actually have to get ready to um, re repurchase quickly maybe order another batch very soon before winter so that i can have in stock for winter so guys this is me outside <laughs> this is the entrance to the airbnb i'm just going to open the door this actually leads up to another apartment and then we have these steps you just go down. Okay. And then this is our apartment. It even says, Welcome to Cindy's. Okay. So I'm going to open the door. So these are all the house rules written out here for us. And then when you come in here, this is the kitchen. You can see plates and all that already arranged in there. Very, very nice. This is so helpful, guys. Plates and mugs and all of that. And then microwave, fridge. Guys, we bought all this stuff for and just this. Everybody in this house takes a different cereal. And then the milk is for Eliana. So that's our fridge, okay. Um, I want to show you guys the freezer part of this fridge. It's so big. So this freezer was able to take all my mende mende from Nigeria, guys. It took all my my unkonko uh, or ungolo or whatever you call it from. From Nigeria, all my dried fish, all my dried fish and stuff, you guys can see, well packaged, my afan, my stock fish, everything is in here, you can see my crayfish, my prawns, my snail. <laughs> Some of this stuff is going to my guy, my sister, guys. So don't be shocked that it's too much. <laughs> All right. Then there is the storage, guys, pots, pans. There's even an instant pot in there. These are my Ghana must go bags that I came in that contained my food. There's still some spices like my suya spice and some other things that are in there, guys. All right. Yeah. So close the door here. And then you come into the kitchen proper. There's a toaster over there. Then the gas, the stove. I don't know. Everybody here uses an electric stove. I don't know if that's what's obtainable in all the apartments, but all the apartments that I have visited, it's, it's an electric stove, okay? So there's the sink. That's hubby there. Say hello. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> so guys, this is the sitting area, the, the dining area. Okay, and there's this chair that came in so useful for Eliana. We met it here when we came. I'm thinking of getting something like this for her, for her meal times. Okay. And then this is the, 
the car seats that accompanied us to Calgary get to be used, guys. We haven't used this, okay? Or well, maybe when we get our car. And then these are spare duvets and blankets and everything that you need. All right? So if you come across this way, this is the bathroom. Okay? That's the bathtub. I hope I'm doing a good job of this video. And all that, all those products there, guys, they came with the apartments. Like the whole store of everything shampoo body wash everything was here conditioner everything and then there were fresh there were fresh towels okay very clean there's tissues and just general beauty products that's lotion there wipes and everything that you need guys okay so of course let me come this way and show my beautiful self <laughs> and then guys this is the wash wash basin so if you've been watching my videos and you see all these products here you should be able to you should at least guess which product is for who all right yeah so that's it inside this um that's it that's the bathroom okay so if you come out of the bathroom you get to see the living area all right there's Netflix and all of that. You can see the kids are having a field day here. Netflix and all of that. And then you come down here to your right. This is the wash, the washer, and the dryer, guys, in suit. Okay? Very adequate. Very adequate. I've used this I've used this this morning already. Very adequate. So you come down this way as well. Very nice. Nice decor. There's a room to your right. This is where the kids sleep. Okay? And it's quite spacious. In fact, that's one of the things I like about this place. Quite spacious. Guys, you can see our luggage are still here. We came in with 10 bags, all right? You can see our luggages are still here, all right? And then if you come down to the left, this is another bedroom, all right? This is the one that myself and hobby use. And that's it, guys. There's a TV in here. And these are our bags. These are other bags. Okay. Now if you go down this way. This is like a storage space. We already put up our, some of our bags there. The diapers there for Eliana. We bought them when we came in here. Okay. And um, yeah, guys, this is our shopping hall. <laughs> we went to Hudson Bay and we got some jackets, winter jackets. These are our shoes, okay. And yeah, that's it. That's it. See Eliana. Say hi. <laughs> so guys, that's it for the. For the apartment tour. So what I noticed here is that the windows are really small. That's one window here just by the dining area and another window there for the living room. Yeah. So I'm just going to stand here and give you like a 360 view of the whole entire living area. Bedrooms down this way. Living room. Dining area. Kitchenette. And that's the door out. At 
some point my husband suggested that we have pizza for dinner so we just ordered pizza off the uber eats guys thank you so much for watching my vlog peace and love and light until my next vlog i'll see you guys bye